This is a young female around 20 years of age who came in with abdominal pain, got a CT scan which showed an abnormality, and an MRI was obtained to further evaluate this. We can see in our T2-weighted sequences performed without fat saturation that there's clearly a large mass uh, really centered around the head and neck region of the pancreas. It's pretty well circumscribed. Internally, it has components that are more intermediate T2 signal and components that are hyperintense T2 signal. And really, despite the large size of this mass, there's no real mass effect upon either the pancreatic duct or the um, common bile duct, which are not really dilated. If we look at this in our pre-T1 uh, contrast sequence, pre-contrast sequences, we can see that, again, the mass is pretty well circumscribed and uh, the intermediate signal components have a little bit higher T1 signal as well. The other components that, more, that were T2 hyperintense look a little bit lower in signal. And post-contrast images, clearly there's enhancement uh, within those uh, T2 intermediate uh, soft tissue components and the more cystic components demonstrate no enhancement. So really dealing with uh, a large, well-circumscribed mass with cystic and solid components. This one's located around the head and neck region of the pancreas in a young 20-year-old female. And so some possibilities include potentially a neuroendocrine tumor, which can uh, have an appearance like this. But the other thing to consider is a spend tumor. Uh, these tumors can occur in uh, young females. Uh, typically have a tendency for the body and tail, but really can occur anywhere. They have both cystic and solid components, and classically, uh, they have hemorrhage on the uh, pre-T1 contrast images. This one didn't happen to see any hemorrhage, but uh, that's another possibility when you see these well circumscribed masses with cystic and solid components in young patients, young females in particular. Uh, this one ended up being taken out and turned out to be a spent tumor at the head of the pancreas.